and Recreation. How was the party? <laughs> it was amazing. Oh, good. Um, we had a great turnout, and a lot of it, if not, I'd say most of it, was also um, run by the PTA. They helped us with that event, so they put in a ton of work. They got a bunch of volunteers. Um, so my hat's off to them. They right. did a lot of that night. Um, I ran around in the bus, as you saw, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> my assistant, Brandon, was all over the place down at Tuckfield. So it was a super event. We saw um, a lot of new faces, a lot of old faces, and uh, just about everything in between. And it went off without a hitch, I believe. So uh, everyone had positive things to say. How did the uh, food trucks work? The food trucks went really well. Um, they were concerned that with the anticipated number that they were going to be over over busy at no they were going to be too busy but they ended up being consistently uh busy throughout the night for the three hours um being the first time we've done it it was kind of a little bit of an experiment we didn't know what to expect um the turnout could have been less but they were happy when they left that and what type they of took things a did the food trucks sell we had clyde's cupcakes who was desserts <laughs> and then we had um a barbecue truck that did basic fries um i believe burgers and macaroni and cheese kid friendly type mm. fare oh, but that went off that was very um successful and people enjoyed that a lot it was a new addition obviously the first time we've tried it well thank you thanks and how long were you at the park for that event I was there from 3 to 10.30, and then I was at the park at 6.30 in the morning doing another project. So I didn't go home till 10.30 that night. But good. had a good hours. day. A lot of hours. Okay. Well, we're anxious to hear your uh, yes. presentation this evening. So as far as the budget goes, um, we're coming in at just over, I should say, just under $262,000. Most of the changes... Um, that are in there coming out of the grounds and fields items um, and we're going to be putting some of those into the warrant article that yeah. we get from the 20 percent yeah. um, the only thing i get concerned about is if for some reason that warrant article doesn't pass some year or something like that that's taking out a good chunk of money i yeah. won't be able to cover um within my budget probably if that doesn't pass yeah, it's and that helps with the tax rate right it yeah. definitely it's i think it's just around seventeen thousand dollars that we're going to put into that one article but if i had to yeah. try to make that up i'd yeah. i'd be struggling yeah because so. there's talk of the that that's one of the solutions with the trash committee uh, that they would like part of it but that it, you found it to be an integral part of your it's service it's huge um we would not be able to do a we wouldn't be able to do a lot without that. Um, it's a huge benefit for the department. Mm -hmm. And most of it, like this particular thing, all of these are maintenance items that mm -hmm. we so, wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Yeah, it almost seems like a natural <coughs> to, uh, from some of the money that's made from people coming to the beach, which we have to pay for, mm -hmm. it reverts back to the people that actually live in Hampton and helps uh, lower the tax rate and give, uh, have opportunities for children and adults. Right, agreed. Thank you. And did you want to do your presentation or anything else? It's pretty much uh, pretty much that's yeah. the biggest change I, I believe. Um, there's a couple of dollars with the salaries I think that may have changed, but otherwise it's pretty. Mm -hmm. And do you want to mention your flat. bottom line there? My bottom line is two sixty one nine seven five. Okay, and Mrs. Wolsey? I don't have a problem with the budget, but I have one suggestion. Yes. You don't ever see old faces, you see familiar faces. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'll make that adjustment. <laughs> Some are too familiar. Um, Regina? Yes, um, thank you for your budget. I have no problems with it, but I'm glad that the Halloween Fest was a success, and you have another big event coming up this weekend. We do have a <laughs> playground build on Friday and Saturday down at Kids Kingdom. So, oh, good. rain that's or shine, good. it's going up. That's good. So, yes, very big. <clears throat> yes, and I'll be bringing the coffee at 7.30. Thank you so much. I'll need it. <laughs> so, and I also wanted to talk about, I attended the 
actually Selectman Waddell was there too. <coughs> Thursday night at the Academy, you had the community forum. Yeah, um, not a great turnout, but I think the message is getting out there, which is very good. It is, and the people that showed up were very dedicated and um, passionate about what they want to see in town, which is what we need. Good. And that turned out, although it wasn't the biggest or greatest, it will offset with our survey we're doing that we've had just under 300 responses to. So I think... Wow. Yeah, and I know a bunch of those surveys got handed out this morning, too. Yes, so. they did. <laughs> so you'll be getting some more. So thanks for the good job. Thank, Thank you. you. And Mr. Waddell? Renee, how many do people have on your staff? We have... Myself and my program coordinator, and then we have a part-time position at the front desk that's 28 hours in a 10-hour position, and then we have two part-time parks guys that yeah. are uh, 28 hours a week. Yeah. And what, what are you responsible for? Um, pretty much Tuck Field, all the parks in, in town. Um, we do have a contracted service that mows most of those, but we're in charge of the maintenance mm -hmm. of those parks. Uh, Tuck Field, we do stuff with uh, the Historical Society, we do, we line all the fields, we mow all the fields for sports. Um, we work with the schools for facilities to do some of our programs, yeah. and we also uh, let people use Tuck Field for some of our programs um, based on need and request and stuff like that. Yeah. So, we're running programs. I think we ran 41 senior programs so far to date, which, you know, it's just under about yeah. one a week, and we're keeping busy. Um, we are finding that we're, I don't want to say programming too much, but we're, we're doing a lot and spreading ourselves a little thin sometimes. Mm. Right, but you're doing a lot and those fields get used constantly in the good weather. Saturday when I was down there, uh, you really couldn't see the fields because there were so many people. They're, the soccer program from the HOA, I think she said they had just under like 400 kids using that field every weekend along with our flag football Starting program. from kindergarten, right? Pre-K. Pre-K. Wow. Pre-K through, I want to say, eighth grade. And then we have our flag football, which is third grade through high school. Mm. And that's... Which is a very successful That runs program. on Saturdays program. and Sundays. So. Yeah. Yeah, so you're doing a lot. We are. With the, with the 260... I mean, people in town are getting their money's worth out of the 261,000. I definitely think so. Yeah. And I'm hoping with the results from that survey that going forward... Um, we're going to probably present what our results are to the board. Um, and going forward, I, I know we try to keep the budgets flat, but I'm going to hopefully be able to present some changes and try to add some stuff to make us even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that survey was really nice. That meeting was really fun. And that and they can immediately take your input and put it up on the screen is really good. Instant results sometimes yeah. is scary for the person in the front row that was watching everything go <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It turned out okay in the end. But it was good. Thank now, you. With your um, different uh, trips that you run, because I know that a lot of them go to casinos and that, have you included that new casino in Boston? We haven't. We've, we haven't got the response that we thought we would with that. Um, we tried to do Oxford. Oxford's kind of mellowing out, and we, we're not getting enough to run casino trips anymore in general. Well, one of the things that if you, uh, you could stress, particularly if the weather is nice, although I, I think they're going to try to make their outdoor facilities good even in the um, wintertime, but I'm not really positive about that. But it's a beautiful place for people to walk around, and it's all wheelchair accessible for the most part. Um, and I just wanted to say that if you did do something there, you need to make sure that you go early in the morning because the amounts with the bets and stuff like that are much lower. And they go up <coughs> as the day goes on. Yeah, as the yes. day goes on. So it's like an early bird special type thing. Gotcha. Mrs. Wilson? Yeah, really quickly, I think you and I talked about this before, the signboard for the donors on Kids Kingdom. That will be going up. Um, if we can get it up, it'll be up this weekend. Excellent. So and thank Gina. you. Yeah, you, I just, you were listing all the things you do, and then I just found out today that you also attend the monthly senior meeting we that do. they have over at the Methodist yeah. Church. And that's where we announce all of our programs, all the trips, and everything we got going on. Good. And so. usually I use them as a sounding board to also tell mm -hmm. us what they want to see us run. Good. So, mm -hmm. And that's been going on for a long time using yeah. that. Venue. Long before I've, yeah. I was okay. here. That's always Thank a nice you. thing. Yeah. 
Thank you very much. Thank you.